In this guide, I'll show you how to stream your PS4 gameplay to Discord using Remote Play. So on your PS4, you want to navigate up and go to settings on the right. And from here, you want to scroll down and look for the Remote Play option. Now once you're here, you want to enable Remote Play. And now you want to go into your PC. Now on your PC, you want to go to Google and type in PlayStation Remote Play and select the link at the top. And that'll bring you to this page where you want to download and install PlayStation Remote Play. Now when you launch this program on your computer for the first time, you will have to sign into your PlayStation Network account. And if you select the cogwheel on the left sidebar, you'll be able to adjust the video quality for Remote Play on your PS4. So the max resolution you can use is 720p. And for the frame rate, you can go as standard or high. I'm just going to leave it on standard. Then you can press OK and select PS4. Then it'll search for your PS4 and you just need to wait for it to pair. So now that my PS4 has paired to Remote Play, before I actually launch it, what I'm going to do is click on the controller icon on the left sidebar. And this warns you that you have to use your PS4 controller by connecting it to your computer using a USB cable. So after you've done this, you can press OK and select your PS4. So once your PS4 is connected to Remote Play, what you want to do is open up your web browser and go to Discord and join the server where you want to share your screen. Then what you want to do is select the voice channel where your friends are in, and you want to select the share screen icon in the bottom left corner. Then what you want to do is select the window option at the top, and you want to select PlayStation Remote Play and go to share. Now when you do this, it'll start sharing your screen, so I'm going to double click on it to join this lobby, and you'll be able to invite your friends here where they'll be able to watch your gameplay. Now I recommend you open up PlayStation Remote Play like this, because if you leave PlayStation Remote Play minimized, it can crash more often. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.